Good morning, everyone. I hope you're keeping well. And um, thank you very much for joining me um, on this our August monthly webinar. My name is Megan, uh, Megan Saunders. I'm the business development executive here at Crystal. And um, this morning, we're just going to spend the next sort of 15 to 20 minutes um, just running through all the latest offers, promotions, where we're sailing, what is sailing, um, and what's happening so that you're fully informed um, to talk to your guests about booking their next Crystal cruise. Um, if you do have any questions as we go along, please do pop them in that chat box there um, and I'll keep an eye on that and answer them as we go along. Um, so just as a quick little fleet update for you, we are back and we are sailing again, which is really, really exciting. We're so pleased that last month um, Crystal Serenity relaunched uh, and she resumed sailing out in the Bahamas. Uh, for Crystal Sim Symphony sister ship, um, she was planned to do some uh, Caribbean itineraries. Those have now been um, replaced um, and they, she will now be doing some luxury Bermuda itineraries. So I'll talk about what those entail a little bit later on. Uh, but she's due to start um, sailing again on the 22nd of August. So there's lots to look forward to there. With our river cruise, um, they've consolidated those. So um, sailings on Crystal Bark and Crystal Marla have been cancelled now through till the end of the year. Um, those have been consolidated now. So we'll have two ships running. We'll have Crystal uh, Debussy and Crystal uh, Ravel uh, that do very similar itineraries and um, guests affected have been contacted so they can swap on to a similar sailing. Um, but those will start sailing again now um, at the back end of this month, which is really exciting and we're really pleased um, that's going to be a great option for some UK guests. We're hoping to get the green light um, so we'll be able to get through um, to Europe for the UK guests, which is great. Um, for Crystal Yacht, again, we're cancelled through currently till um, the 26th of September. Um, it, we're all set. Um, everything looks good to go for us to resume after that. So that will be out in the Adriatic. Um, we'll be kind of doing Venice to Dubrovnik sailings. Um, throughout October um, again so that should be quite good for the UK guests um, and Chris Lind of our expedition yacht um, we've not got that on there um, but we'll be talking about this uh, throughout the presentation she has launched now which is really exciting and she's out in Iceland so we've got two ships currently sailing uh, with a couple more uh, due to start uh, by the time we do our webinar next month which is really great you can keep up to date with all the kind of latest um, cancellations and everything like that on our website as well so if you do go onto the website there's a big banner at the top which has all the advisory notices uh, so you can keep um, up to date with everything there uh, i just wanted to run through quickly um our booking policies because these have been updated we have included these in um our webinars most months but i just wanted to kind of quickly recap those um so we've uh, streamlined this for 2021 all the way through to 2024 um, and across all experiences so whether your guests are traveling on ocean river yacht or expedition um it will be exactly the same deposit payment and cancellation schedule so it makes it nice and easy and obviously this will be included um on all your invoices and everything uh, so you will know exactly where you stand so our deposits being reduced down to 15 percent you can see here um on some of our new sailings that have restarted for this year the deposit is even lower at just 72 pounds per person which is great um the reduced um early payment date so uh, if guests want to pay early and get a little discount you can see there that um that's only now due at 160 days out for next year. And then the full um, pay, the final payment day, um, if they didn't want to take advantage of that um, early payment discount, is now at 130 days. And then for cancellations, you can see here, um, we've relaxed those terms a bit and streamlined it as well. But as I say, this will all be on any of your invoices. It's also on our website. So as I said, Crystal uh, Serenity is back. She's sailing out in the Bahamas now. The feedback um, is currently really, really positive. The crew and the guests are so, so excited to be back doing what they love. Um, and it's so great to see the images coming back. Uh, they were out in the port of Nassau. And there was a big kind of celebration there as we resumed uh, sailing again, a big water salute. So that's really, really great. We've got those lovely, lovely itineraries. Um, 
And on those itineraries, what they have done is now uh, they've just announced they're going to be adding Miami as a new port of embarkation. So currently, uh, beforehand, they were just uh, sailing in the Bahamas. Uh, but we've added Miami now as well. So guests can join the ship either from Nassau, from Bimini or from Miami. So there's lots and lots of choice for our guests. Um, and they've also introduced a brand new four night itinerary that's going to sail out in November. Um, and so there's some really great fares on that as well. Um, it's great to have kind of the better airlift options. Obviously, currently, um, us UK guests, we can't quite get out there just yet, but it's great. These itineraries are going to be sailing all the way through till November. So fingers crossed, we're going to have an opportunity to get out there, get some sunshine, see the beautiful beaches of the Bahamas. Um, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> Because of that update, um, the Florida state law means we've had to update our um, crystal clean uh, protocols. So we're now on version six. Again, you can go on the website um, and see all the updates. But this update really just relates to those um, Bahamas itineraries and particularly for our guests that will be embarking in Miami. Um, so we've had to change our uh, language a little bit. Um, so we will now be highly recommending but not requiring that guests be fully vaccinated. And that's to um, abide by, uh, as I say, the Florida state law. Um, so as a condition for sailing, um, any guests that join the aren't fully vaccinated will have to provide um, evidence and purchase um, adequate travel insurance for their sailing. Um, they'll also have to provide the ship with a negative PCR test, um, and that will also be required um, for the Bahamas, entry into the Bahamas as well. Um, on board, um, we'll distinguish guests by um, a wristband so that we'll know which guests are fully vaccinated and which aren't, um, because there will be some limitations on our guests that join that aren't fully vaccinated. Uh, so some pu uh, public rooms won't be available. Um, they'll have um, assigned socially distanced uh, dining space specifically for all those. Um, so, yes, you can read all about the update online if you want to. Um, you can go to crystalcruises.co.uk and just look at the health and safety bit and there'll be an update on exactly what measures we've got in place to keep all of our guests and crew safe on board. As I mentioned, Crystal and Endeavour, um, after her christening last month, uh, she's embarked on her maiden voyage, which is really, really exciting. So on the 17th of July, she sailed out of Reykjavik for the first time with guests on board. Um, the feedback has been fantastic. Um, and it's been really great to see guests photos coming back from that. And they've had such a fabulous time. Um, there's been some brilliant photos of guests out kayaking with the sea kayaks and yeah, just really enjoying the destination and the ship. Um, so she's currently doing um, five 10 night itineraries around Iceland, which is great for UK guests. Obviously, Iceland is still on that green list so we can get out there. Um, and yeah, these are really fantastic itineraries. And we're just so pleased that Crystal Endeavour is out and sailing. Finally, <laughs> we've waited a long time for this ship uh, to be um, in the water and sailing with passengers. So it's great to see um, the feedback and the images coming back. On board, um, we've got a fantastic expedition team on board to look after all our guests and really make sure that they're having um, the absolute best time. So um, we've got a whole host of really experienced explorers and expedition leaders. Uh, we've got marine biologists, we've got glaciologists, uh, geologists, uh, historians, photographers, um, and it's really great. Um, I've been reading some of the feedback from guests on board who have just said that this expedition team have gone above and beyond and just made the trip even better than it would have been anyway, um, helping them take the best photo uh, photos of, of the scenery and the wildlife that they're seeing, sitting down and doing drawings with them, really um, sharing their knowledge and their experience with our guests. Uh, so you can read all about this um, this team. Um, if you do have guests that are looking to go on these Iceland uh, voyages, they can look at these guys' credentials and know that they're they're in safe hands. So just um, some more itinerary updates then and kind of just to run through the offers that we've got on those new sailings that are uh, happening now. 
So with those um, brand new luxury Bermuda itineraries, so we're really excited that Crystal Symphony will start sailing again uh, the 22nd of this month, which is great. Um, she'll be doing um, Boston round trip um, from the 22nd of August all the way through to the 12th of September. And then she'll swap to do New York round trip. Um, and that will be from the 24th of September all the way through till November. So those will be going from yeah either Boston or New York out to Bermuda couple of days at sea to enjoy this the ship and the sunshine um yeah so some really really nice itineraries um just to get back into cruising again um the fares there start uh just over 1700 pounds per person and guests will get $125 per person on board credit that they can use um, either in um, the vintage room, perhaps treat themselves to a spa treatment or a nice shore excursion out in Bermuda. The choice is theirs, how they want to spend that. Um, for our Crystal Society guests, so any guests that have cruised with us previously, uh, they will get a double discount. They will get a 5% discount on their cruise fare. And any new to Crystal guests, they will get a two and a half percent discount on the cruise fare as well. Uh, for our solo travellers, um, the supplement is starting at just one 125 percent. Um, so quite a low solo supplement there. And as I mentioned at the top of the webinar, um, the deposit on this one is just £72 per person. So a great um, reduced deposit there. Um, we do have social media graphics. So as and when the rules do change and we are able to get out to the US without any kind of restrictions in place. Um, if you do want to share details of these itineraries, do let us know and we can share um, any of our social media graphics with you for you to be able to share that with your guests as well. For uh, Crystal Endeavour, um, so we're on sale now all the way through till 2024. There's some great new itineraries um, going through the Northeast Passage, doing the Russian High Arctic, um, some gorgeous, um, more tropical destinations going to Indonesia and Raja Ampat, um, really perfect for kind of snorkeling and diving. Um, we're going out to Japan, um, the Kamchatka region as well in Russia, um, as well as the Great Barrier Reef and Tasmania. So there really is something for everyone. We're going to be doing all climates, all seasons, all weather. Um, this really is a, a not just a ship to do kind of Arctic and Antarctica. Um, it really will be going all over, including the British Isles and, and the Med um, into Seville and Bordeaux. Um, so there really is something for everything. I do have a flyer that I can share with you that has um, the calendar on. So you can download that from there or you can have a look at our website to see the full details of all those itineraries. And again, we do have social media graphics for this. So if you do want to share it with your guests, again, do let us know. For those Bahama itineraries, as I mentioned, we've got that brand new four night getaway sailing out in November and those seven night itineraries that are sailing now all the way through to November. So for the four night cruise, um, the fares start at just £1,000 per person. Absolute bargain for a crystal cruise. Um, again, we've got that double uh, crystal society discount on there for the cruise fare and the solo sub starting at just 125 percent um we have got that offer there that you can see on the third berth um for all grades of accommodation um and that's just 543 pounds um so that's a great offer so if you've got um, families and they want an additional third berth in their room they can take advantage of that um and again whether they're doing the four the four night or the seven night we've got the 72 pounds per person deposit and then on the seven night itineraries fares um just over £1,600 per person. And again, they're going to get that £125 per person on board credit, the same as the Bermuda itineraries. Um, so again, we've got social media graphics for the seven night or the four night. So do let us know if you want to promote those as and when. For Crystal River sailings, um, for 2022, we've just had um, some new selection of sailings added to our best available promotion. 
So with this promotion, guests can book um, the best grade of accommodation at the time of booking, uh, but they'll get that for the lowest uh, fare. So that we've basically common rated, all of our grades of accommodation will be the same price. And so basically they can get the best grade um, that is available at the time of booking. So we've got um, cruises on this offer all uh, in November 2022 on Crystal Mozart. And you can see here some lovely itinerary uh, Vienna round trip. Crystal Mozart, um, for those that don't know, is our double width ship that is returning to the fleet next year. Uh, so we're really, really excited to have her back. And you can see their fare starting from uh, 2688 for our W1 grades. And those are our window um, grades uh, there. Or you've got three just over £3,000 per person for um, our S grades. Um, and that will be whichever S grade is available at the time of booking. And that's our balcony grade of accommodation. And sticking with River Cruises, um, we will also be joining Floriad next year as well. So we have um, a selection of cruises where um, we will have complimentary shore excursions that will um, take our guests to enjoy the once in every 10 years, um, the horticulture cultural expedition that happens out in Amsterdam. So this is a really great opportunity to go and be part of that. Um, a number of sailings throughout July next year. Um, and you can see there the fare starting at just under £4,000 per person. But as I mentioned, the tickets um, to get in to the expedition will be completely complimentary and included in their cruise fare. Again, we've got social media graphics for um, any of the river offers that we have. So if that is something you think your guests will be interested in, do let us know. So just to recap then um, some of the training and resources that we have available for you. We've got our virtual ship visit. Uh, so this started last year um, and was really, really successful. Um, we're still not quite able to get back on ships um, just yet. But so this summer we are taking you virtually on board all of our ships. If you haven't heard enough of my voice already today, you can join me this afternoon um, and we'll be looking at Crystal Serenity. That's at 3 p.m. this afternoon. Um, otherwise, we've got Crystal Symphony um, in a couple of weeks time, the 17th and 19th of August. And then coming up um, later on this summer, we've also got uh, ship visits on Crystal Mozart and Crystal Endeavour as well. So do keep an eye out um, in your inbox for our emails coming through with the registration links for all of those. And we hope you'll join us to have a look around some of those ships. We've talked a lot about Crystal Endeavour and um, we do have a really great digital toolkit. Um, if you haven't had this already, please do let me know and we can get that sent out to you. It's a really great toolkit looking at um, the different itineraries, talking in detail about the expedition um, team, looking at what sort of equipment will my guests need to use, um, what can they expect on board, um, all of that sort of stuff. So if you um, do want to receive a copy of this, um, you can see our email address there, sales at cruiseportfolio.co.uk. Drop us an email and we can get that sent out to you. Um, and this is great for you to read. Um, and it's all really great for you to kind of share with your guests as well to give them a feel of what to expect. As we've mentioned throughout, we've got lots of lots of social media graphics, whether that's offer led or just general um, ship and product led. Um, we can kind of tailor make that to your agency. Um, just let us know what you are looking for. And we're really, really happy to help you alongside that. Um, so again, do just email us with what your requirements are and we're happy to help. Um, online, we've got um, some home learning opportunities. So our blog is a really, really great opportunity to go and kind of get a really good insight into what's happening, what's new, um, as well as get some of our personal experiences from many, many years ago now, it feels, when we were able to travel and be on board. Um, so we've got blogs um, from the, the staff here that have been on board and traveled previously. Our most recent blog is looking at Japan, um, obviously with the Olympics on, Tokyo is front and center at the moment. Um, we've got a great blog there about what a cruise to Japan might include. Um, 
We also do do our um, email updates. So if you don't receive those already, please do let us know and we can make sure that you're all signed up to receive those. Um, and we will obviously keep you posted as and when there are new blog posts um, and things to learn and read. For our brochures, you can see here we've got um, a selection of brochures. These are all available digitally, so we don't have any print, printed versions of any of these. Um, and then coming soon, we've also got a brand new um, Endeavour mini brochure coming. That should be in the next couple of weeks, so do keep an eye in your inbox for the details of that coming very, very soon, as well as a brand new 2022 River Cruise uh, brochure. So as I've mentioned, um, we are asking you to email us centrally. So if you do need anything from this presentation or going forward, anything sales and marketing related, uh, please do email us on sales at cruiseportfolio.co.uk. That allows us to then make sure that the right person in the right team is getting back to you um, and able to help you with that. And then finally, just a date for your diary. Our next webinar will be the 2nd of September, again with me at 10.30 a.m. So do keep an eye on the inbox again or our social channels. And as soon as we've got the registration link, we'll be sharing that with you. So um, thank you very much for joining. You can see all of our social channels there. So do go ahead and follow those. You've got some great blog posts um, all of our social media content that you're able to share as well, as well as some great videos out on YouTube. Um, there's a wonderful video of the new Iceland itineraries that is just fantastic to share. Um, so if you do need anything, um, you can uh, drop me an email, uh, again, on that sales um, email address. Uh, but otherwise, I will wish you a lovely rest of the day. Um, and thank you.